Right, so Mr. Palmer here with a quick video on what uh, what the Harvard architecture is, basically comparing uh, von Neumann to uh, Harvard architecture. So before you do this, make sure you've gone over your notes on processes, buses, and von Neumann architecture. So again, processor basics, Harvard architecture. Uh, you need to be able to understand what the advantage of the Harvard architecture is compared to von Neumann. So recap on von Neumann quickly. You've got a digital computer in four parts. You've got the processor, okay, uh, with the various components within, si in the, within it. You have the main memory which stores the data and instructions and then obviously the IO device and secondary storage, right? So uh, just looking at the CPU and memory relationship itself, this is what you have. You have the processor with the arithmetic and logic unit and the control unit which controls obviously all of the components within the CPU. Then you have uh, the CPU itself connected to the main memory via the data bus, okay? The main memory is holding the programs and the data, the associated data. So remember the problem with the, um, or well, the advantage of von Neumann architecture when you compare it to the way we write programs is it's of serial nature. So it was matching the fetch decode execute cycle in that way. However, there was one bus used to transport data and instructions. So therefore you've only got one instruction at a time. That's why we talk about its serial nature. Another thing we could also say to that is that basically instructions and data cannot be transferred at the same time. Uh, when you want to uh, do instructions or data, they both have to contend for control of the data of the data bus. So that's where we basically experience what we call the von Neumann bottleneck. So although you may have a very fast CPU and fast RAM, basically things slow down at that point because one or the other only can be transferred at a time. So why do we talk about Harvard architecture? We basically have got se physically separate memory for instructions and data. So each has its own bus. So obviously the impact of that is that the CPU can access instructions and read and write data at the same time. Basically what that means is if we have a circuit of given complexity uh, and we're, uh, of a von Neumann architecture and we have the same complexity circuit for Harvard architecture, the Harvard CPU is going to be faster because it, can, it doesn't experience that same bottleneck. Obviously in a modern CPU, uh, sorry let me just recap, rewind a bit. So Harvard architecture kind of links up to risk processes more in the way um, it is. Okay, uh, the way it's set up. Okay, risk CPUs use Harvard architecture, um, not exactly classical Harvard architecture, but an uh, uh, evolved uh, version of it. Okay, obviously in a modern computer, we, you don't have physically separate memory. We've just got uh, the RAM, and then uh, you have your uh, storage, uh, which you are loading programs from uh, into the RAM for execution. So it's changed now slightly but the classical uh, way of looking at it is the separate memory for instructions and data therefore avoiding um, the uh, the bottleneck so if we're going to compare the two you can see on the left hand side von Neumann architecture main memory holding programs and data therefore they're contending for control of the data bus uh, which will slow the the actual performance down creating a bottleneck and on the right hand side you've got the CPU in Harvard architecture with two separate physical memory um, components, one for holding the data and one for holding the program. Um, back in the, uh, let, let's leave that alone, let's not make it overly complex now. All right, so basically you should be able to think about what is the advantage of the Harvard architecture compared to von Neumann and when you think about that you should be able to bring up that uh, previous diagram in your mind and discuss the fact that you have two separate physical memory locations which reduces or which negates the, the bottleneck experience in von Neumann architecture. Thank you very much, Mr. Palmer saying goodbye.